So hi everyone, I'm Vicki and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm so glad to have you here as always. And we are going to do a quick lemon curd tonight and I hope you enjoy it. And here we go. I have already put two sticks of butter in our deluxe cooking blender. There are other ways to cook this, but I have this amazing cooking blender from Pampered Chef and this is the way I make it. Now, this version is keto low carb and we're gonna see how quick we can make it. And I see something that I don't have out here. Let me grab it. Okay, so first thing we want to do is soften our butter. We've gone ahead and put it in the blender. It's been softening and I have gone ahead and done the lemon zest. It's about a tablespoon of lemon zest. Now we need three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. So we're going to use the same citrus zester juicer for that. Always use fresh on lemon curd. It will not turn out the same if you use a bottle. I mean, you can make it and it'll thicken up. It just won't be the same. Look at how clean that comes with our citrus juicer. Usually it takes about three or four to make three quarters of a cup. And the ingredients we're gonna put in the cooking blender, we're gonna put it on sauce, and then we're just going to leave it. Come back, and when it says add, that's when we'll add the eggs. take three. Now if it were my Myers lemon, probably two would do. Those things are so big. But I'm out of them for the year. But there's a lot on the tree this year. So I'm gonna have the freezer full of them. If you want to know how to save your lemons, check out my video on how to save your lemons during the year. Um, there's a little trick in there. On saving your own Myers lemons. Okay. Let's see how much juice we've got. And like I said, we're gonna put everything in the cooking blender. We're gonna turn it on sauce and let it work its magic. Today I'm using um, a little bit of monk fruit, a little bit of granular, granulated swirl, and a couple squirts of stevia. I've already put the couple squirts of stevia in the blender, just for time's sake. of a cup. Now, a teaspoon of 
cream of tartar. Let me tell you what this little jewel does. It makes things really creamy. It keeps the sugar from crystallizing. And even the, um, the monk fruit and swerve, it helps keep it from crystallizing as well. And I use two teaspoons of whole cream. I like mine a little fluffy. Now, if you're dairy free and you wanna leave that off, it'll work just as well. So we're gonna turn this on and get it started. And it's gonna be hard to talk with this on. So, Mm. Let's just go ahead and get our eggs ready. Now we'll come back and do this just before, after it's finished cooking for a little bit. All right. Checking everything. Got all the ingredients in. There's not many ingredients to this. All right, here we go. Be back in a second. Well, you can see that it says add. So now it's time to add the eggs. And what it takes is five eggs. It takes two whole eggs and three egg whites. So we just need to separate the whites from the yellow. I've done that from the yolks. I've done that to two of them and I'm gonna get the other one done, okay. Y'all look, this is our um, egg separator and it is the coolest thing because it now can fit in a larger bowl instead of a smaller bowl with this little fold out and this little rubber piece to hold it on securely. Yeah, this is our new egg separator we've had for about a year now. All right. I'm gonna tell it to add, and I am going to add in the eggs. off when it gets to about 200, um, 200 degrees because the eggs will be done at that point. Come back soon. Okay, so we're at 201 degrees. Eggs are cooked thoroughly at somewhere around 170, 180 degrees. And we have thickening in the custard. So I'm about to turn this off and then cancel. And then I am going to turn it on smoothie to make sure it's extra creamy, um, a little fluffy. And then we'll pour it up. This only takes a uh, pencil. This only takes a minute. Here we are. Okay. Now our custard is ready. It smells good. Let's try it. Let's taste it and see how it tastes. I don't think you need anything else. Mm, perfect. Now, I've taken some little cups and I have made a um, keto cookie crust. And I'm just going to pour the custard right in there. And then I'm going to let them, 
and I'll put them in the refrigerator. Well, our lemon curd is ready. I actually have nine to put in the refrigerator and I'll enjoy these over the next couple of weeks and they do last a couple of weeks. Um, I'll either put a baked meringue on the top or I will put a whip, some whipped cream on the top. So give someone your beautiful smile today. You know, makes you feel so good inside. And you just could make someone else's day. Come back to see me soon and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Mmm, so good. <laughs>